The only limit is in the mind of the designer, and I can see no limits in the applications of aquaponics. When Max Myers sees a fish tank, he doesn't think of guppies. He sees a farm. It really inspires me when food can be grown in a, in a community that, in ways that are regenerative and restore the land, enrich the community, and um, ways that we can produce the most amount of food with the least amount of resources. Myers is an advocate of aquaponics, a soilless method of growing food using fish that uses 90% less water. In that tank, the fish are doing their business, going about their life, and as they breathe out their gills, they're emitting ammonia into the water, which is a pollution for the fish. They're also emitting liquid and solid waste, which is also can, can build up in the water and become harmful to the fish. But it's great for plants. The wastewater flows out of the fish tank, where a separator catches the solids. The liquid is then pumped up to the plants. So the plants absorb that nutrition out of the water, cleaning the water in the process, and the clean water flows back to the fish. Many types of fish can be used to fertilize the crops, from tilapia to even shrimp. The process makes a full meal. You can eat the fish and the vegetables. Our systems provide everything within the systems itself and become closed loop. Working with the earth is a passion for Myers, but it took a tragedy for him to find his path. Three years ago, while motorcycling, he was in a head-on collision with a truck. The accident left him unable to walk. And at that point, I was kind of lost and really didn't have a particular direction. Could have went in a variety of, of areas, but I didn't have my body to work with the same way I was used to. And rather than being depressed and feeling bummed about myself, I became to feel really empowered and, and appreciate the opportunity for change. That empowerment led to an aquaponics greenhouse project at Ukiah High School in rural Northern California with students like Trenton Phillips. The idea of farming fish on campus at school was a, a pretty good shock to me. When I first heard about it, like just mouth to mouth, I was like, okay, but then after I seen pictures of an actual system that was already built and working, I was like, okay, let's do this. In a system where um, basic agriculture uh, classes have covered nothing more than livestock, tractors, and vineyards, students are really thirsty for something new and exciting to learn about. The challenge is to take what Myers teaches in a small setting and make it work on a larger scale. More than half the world's population now lives in cities, and Eric Mondu believes aquaponics could transform the urban landscape. You grow without soil, and you recycle water. And I think those two are really uh, uh, big and powerful concepts because uh, most of the places where food is not grown is because there's no good soil, or either because there's no water. A native of Kenya, Mondu installs and teaches aquaponics in Oakland, California. I grew up in a really dry place out in Kenya. It doesn't rain much, rain is seasonal. So I saw a lot of people uh, struggle to raise food and raise their families in those kind of environments. But one day, I saw, uh, I saw a plant grow without soil, and that changed my life. Eric worked on bringing sustainable systems like solar cookers and aquaponics to Kenya. But after spending time in Oakland, he made a connection. One day I was walking in West Auckland and I was like, places, neighborhoods in West Auckland started reminding me of the same neighborhoods I was walking with in Kenya. Concrete's concrete, concrete's a desert in terms of life. And there's really not much you can do on it, but then using things like aquaponics, you can give it life. Mondu admits aquaponics has its hurdles. It takes a big initial investment, and to grow anything but leafy greens means you need a lot of fish and bigger tanks. But like Myers, he sees it as a tool. That's why I differentiate between aquaponics the destination and aquaponics the journey. Because the destination is one place, you are there, okay, what next? But aquaponics the journey doesn't end. The journey is continuing in Ukiah where the products from the greenhouse will be sold with existing produce to the local community. A first step to closing the loop. For Time Video, Sean Donnelly reporting from Ukiah, California.